hello friends have a good day so today we'll go for a uh, drawing of uh, riveted joints i uh, have seen uh, how to draw a single riveted lap joint and double riveted lap joint uh, in the uh, previous videos now let us go for today a uh, drawing of butt joint a uh, double riveted butt joint uh, with a single cover plate to connect two plates of 9 mm thickness go for calculations calculate uh, what is the diameter of rivet required what is the longitudinal pitch what is the margin distance and what is the transverse pitch okay now Now thickness of plate is nine mm. Diameter is what? It is six root t. It's what eighteen mm. Okay. Next is the uh, the transverse pitch. It is three d. Three into eighteen. It's fifty-four mm. Next, a transfer switch. As it is of uh, chain riveting, it is how much? Point eight times of uh, P. Point eight into fifty-four. It's forty-three point two. So margin distance M is one point five D. One point five into eighteen. This is twenty-seven M. Mm. Start uh, in solid edge. So right click, sheet setup, go for A4 size. Uh, here you select uh, A4 tall. Okay. Now uh, draw in a uh, rectangle here as a border. Okay. I will start with in a thin line here. I will just draw one horizontal thin line. And I'll draw one central line here. Okay. Now, as it is in a double riveted lap joint with single cover plate. Let us first uh, draw the plates. Now I'll draw one center line here. Oh, sorry, I'll just draw one line here. Okay. <coughs> now we can use this center line for uh, drawing the position of rivets. Once you draw on the position of rivets, you can get uh, the plate thicknesses automatically. Or you can first fix the plates, then you can draw the rivets. Okay. So let us start with uh, the position of rivets itself. Okay. Now we'll go for offset command here. Now distance I'll go for twenty-seven because this is the margin distance. Okay. I'll place it on right hand side. Okay. Now it is a forty-two, three point two. What? Right. 
here I have drawn uh, some lines here. Now as it a double rooted uh, single cover butt joint. So you need to draw two rows of weights on each plate here. Now I have a uh, line here, one thin line, horizontal thin line. Now I will draw one uh, vertical center line here. I will go for offset. Now margin distance is 27 mm. I will select this one and I will place it on right side, on left side. Now we got a position for uh, rivets from margin. Now it is then uh, continuous. The transfer pitch is what? It is a 0.8 times of uh, pitch. Now I will select it, left side, select it, and place that on right side. Now as we go on for drawing according to scale, it is not possible to fit your uh, drawing in a sheet. So you go for uh, the reduced scale. That is what uh, half. Okay. Let us go for half scale here. Offset. Now margin distance is 27 divided by 2. Your drawing uh, 1 is 2. 2 here. Select it. Left side. Right side. So we can convert off. Uh, these are the center lines. Now distance is of 0.8 into 54. Now divide by 2. It's 21.6. Select it. Left side. Select it on right side. Now if you are getting confusion, you can just change the color of these lines which are drawn on left hand side, which are drawn on right hand side. Okay. Now we will go for offset again. Distance is what 27 by 2. I will select this line, I will place it on left side. I will select this line, I will place it on right side. Now. Thickness of plate is uh, 9 mm. Okay, I'll go for half. It is a 4.5. Select it, place it on down side. Now this is what a plate line. I'll go for thickness as a 0 0.5 and as a continuous. Now this is what uh, joining up plates, joining up plates. Now for single rooted, I'm sorry, double, if we are using a single cover here, then thickness is what 1.125 into 9 here. Let us calculate. Thickness of cover plate is 1.125 into 9. Okay. It's 10.125. We'll go for offset. Distance is 10.25 divided by 2. I'll select this top line. I'll place it on top side. Now make this as a line of 0.5 thickness and continuous. Now trim unwanted portion. As you need to make a uh, call king, just draw, draw lines which have inclination of 10 degree 
towards right side with respect to the vertical line okay that is what 80 degree so here also same 100 degree now trim unwanted portion here Now just to uh, look out here, make some uh, changes for your understanding purpose. Now I'll select these two lines. I'll make this color a little change. Select these two lines and change the color. Now a red is a right side plate blue is on left hand side plate black is a cover plate here now i drawn uh, the plates let us go for uh, drawing the rivets now i'll go for offset now rivet diameter is 18 it is a half okay then it is what 9 then 4.5 mm on left hand side and 4.5 mm on right hand side okay. 4.5 i will select this center line i place right hand side left hand side okay. now trim unwanted portion Now we need to draw rivet heads here. Now I have drawn body of the rivet. I'll go for offset here. Distance as 0.1t. Okay. Now it is a red is a scale. Then you go for nine half. Now to get the midpoint, I'll just trim these portions. Use circle by center point method. So pick a center point here. Then diameter is what? It is 4 move with copy option you pick a center point and place it for center point now trim unwanted portion here And then uh, Trimbaka Murthy book uh, they are gone for fillet here. This is what to point uh, six times of D. You can use fillet here. This is what fillet. You need to go for a radius point uh, zero six into D is a nine mm. Now you go for fillet with no trim option here. Okay. Turn on. Then click first edge. Then second edge. Okay first edge second edge now once you got the fillets here now you need to trim out these portions just changing the thickness here changing the thickness here trim this portion okay you can use fillets otherwise you can leave as it is okay now I have drawn one now. Rivet, you need to draw on another side. Okay, I'll go for fillet here. We know trim option on. 
I'll just click here. Sorry, I need to go for radius. It's 0.54. Okay, it has to be with respect to center point. Let it be. Fillet 0.54. No trim option. Now you got one rivet. Now to copy this rivet on another three positions, okay, you can convert that as a block, then you can copy it. Okay? So block will help you to combine or unite the selected objects within one entity. Okay? Now I'll go for block here. Okay. I'll click on block. Okay. No, select all entities okay then you need to define one origin point here that means with respect to which point you want to place all these objects okay now i'll go for uh, the circle center point here otherwise i'll go for this intersection point okay provide block name as rivet So we'll make a block here okay and now we can place a window select all objects say okay okay now pick intersection point here for placement purpose okay. then name block name is uh, if it's giving some error So as they're getting uh, error in solid edge, what I'll do, I'll go for uh, copying all these rivets to another positions. Okay. Now I'll go for move with copy option. I'll select all these entities. I'll select this as a reference point. Okay. Once you got uh, the, okay rivet positions I will just uh, erase unwanted lines now I'll remove these portions sorry now go for fill command here you fill first uh, top cover okay I'll fill Okay, I'll go for fill command. Now spacing, I'll go for five here. Okay. And one more plate. Now for fill option, you need to change the orientation of angle here because to 
indicate uh, the plates are uh, different here. Okay. Now this is what one side plate and this is what another side plate and you have a uh, top power plate here. Now let us go for a uh, drawing top view. Now you go for a projection of uh, outer plates here first. Means plates to connect. What I'll do, I'll draw one line here first. Now offset this line to the longitudinal pitch. It is 54 mm. As we are drawing a radius scale, it is 27. Select it, place it on three to four positions. Now we need to show minimum three number of rivets. You need to show minimum three number of rivets. Now I will draw the top cover plate here. Okay. I'll use extend command. one line here and I'll draw one line here. Now trim unwanted portion. Now this is what a uh, top cover plate. Now let us go for uh, the drawing of rivets in top view. Once you go to the reference lines, you can just uh, erase those reference lines. Okay. Now to place the rivets, uh, use circle command. Now we'll 
select intersection point here so it is of what 1.6 into 9 the head diameter okay and uh, 4.5 radius as a rivet uh, body diameter let us go for move with copy option here select uh, these two circles go for intersection point as a reference point then you place here Otherwise, you can copy entire row. No word will do. You'll copy this uh, entire row. Okay. Select this as an uh, intersection point. provide a section this is what section AA right here it is top view now as you change the scale now you need to write here scale 1 is to 2 here okay. scale 1 is to 2 now this is sectional top view sorry sectional front view now provide major dimensions 